Hello, this is the part number six of our series of videos. Uh, remember, I'm following this uh, tutorial from the Phaser website. This official tutorial made by Richard Davy, the author of Phaser, the tutorial for making your first first Phaser game. I recommend you to read this tutorial uh, carefully because you will find uh, good gems here. So this chapter is about of adding the physics to the world. Adding the physics to the world and it's more about uh, adding the interaction between the player and the platforms. Here in the chapter you can read that Phaser has uh, different physics systems, uh, the matter, matter physics, the impact physics, the arcade physics, uh, we are using it here in this, in this tutorial, the arcade, that is uh, the lightweight um, system that it's probably the best option for mobile browsers. So, as I said, we are going to, because uh, right now we have platforms with physics bodies and we have a player with a physics body, body, but it is not interacting the player with the platform and it is what we are going to make today in this video. In Phaser, what you have to do is very simple. You add, you say, you say to the physics system to add a collider between the player and the platforms. A collider is an object. A collider is an object for testing interaction between uh, one object, between two objects, or one object and a list of objects, or one object with a group of object or one group uh, testing one group with another group it, it allows uh, that combinations the, those combinations of an object or a couple of objects how we make that's the only thing you have to do in this chapter but how we do that in phaser editor 2d i have the editor here the game is running in the browser and we have Visual Studio code here for writing our code and running here here is running the webpack development server so let's back to the editor in the previous chapter we add a different player here let's remove it let's have player here okay we have our player here in our process. So you look how the player never touches, never in, is not interacting with the platforms. If I want to make it interact with the platform, remember in the Phaser tutorial, all platforms are created created using a group. Um, so it adds a collider between the player and the platform, which is a group. But here in Phaser Editor, we don't have a group else. We created a list, a platform list, a, li a list here. Let me, uh, this uh, an error here. A platform list with all the platform instances. This list, to look that in code, the list is just an array of the platform. And you can add a collider with the, uh, with the, platform and player here in the editor we have support it has support for adding colliders here in the arcade section we have here an arcade sprite and a collider so you drag the collider here to the send we have the collider we select as object one the player and object two the platforms all right, these other parameters are you can add a collider for interacting with the physics, but if it's, it is only about overlap, it is not going to interact. Whether to check, look here, overlap only is whether to check for collisions or overlap. And the collide callback is a method 
it's a callback uh, that is a, you can write here a method that is called back when the objects collide. So here we have the collider. Let me save. Let me look in code. No, sorry. Collider, collider. Okay. Let me look in code. It created the physics at a collider. So we have our collider here, just like it does in phaser. In the phaser tutorial look it's just the same but it is generated by the editor you can create the collider just by dragging it to the sun so let's check here what happened okay we have our player is colliding with our player is colliding with our platforms and it is bouncing with the platforms okay that's it however i want to show you something more it is very common when you are creating a game with platforms to have different layers it means you have the a background layer with a parallax effect with with trees with mountains and you have a very foreground layer maybe with with grass and you have the, the platforms layer and you where your player is running so instead of what I'm going to do is organize the organize these in, in layers I will create a platforms layers so we are not going to join to group the platforms in a, in a list else I will make a layer with the platforms that's okay so i select all the platforms here let me use this shortcut and i will create a parent create a layer with a selection with the platforms now i have a layer here let's call plat platform layers i have a layer platforms layer on top of the game I can if I move look you, you use the layers also for making the it is in the foreground I want to move it to the background okay it is in the background now so we have the player here so we have the layer platforms layer Look here, it creates the platforms layer and it adds all the platforms to the layer, to the platforms layers. Yeah. As you can look here in the outline. Now the platforms are part of the layer. If you add another platform, it will go to the same layer. Look, you are not platforms, the, all the platforms will go to the platform layers. Now, in our collider, I will say, now it will collide against the platform's layers. But Phaser, unfortunately, Phaser doesn't support uh, colliding with a, specifically with a layer. Else, we have to write here the list. List is the property, is a property of the layer which is just an array of the objects so now we have the collider here look how it is generated between the player and the list of objects inside the platforms layer now you get the game so it is working here so i recommend you for adding the platforms to a layer instead to a list and all right you can add it to a layer so that's it for now whoa just just a minute there was a user and i appreciate appre su suggested me that make the platforms just exactly like it is in the game in the tutorial i will make that i thanks the, for that suggestion uh, let's do that right now oh 
Now the platforms are in the same positions. What I did was to set the exact values of the tutorial. So that's it for now. Uh, like the video, follow the channel, tell me something in the comments, say hello. See you in the next video.